Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. As leadership scrambles to prepare for and mitigate the damage caused by this second great natural disaster, liberals and progressives across the nation couldn't be any more upset with what one leaked photo revealed. A photo just released by the White House shows Trump, Pence, and the rest of his cabinet praying before the start of their meeting to discuss the projected track and potential impact of Hurricane Irma. This group of men, arguably the most powerful people on the planet, recognize there's only one person that can stop this hurricane, God with the residents of Florida worrying over the devastation that Hurricane Irma is causing to their beloved state, the president and his cabinet have been working around the clock to ensure certain preparations were made. Having first been tested by Hurricane Harvey just a couple of weeks prior, the presidency already has some practice in dealing with natural disasters of this type. But what's causing a fit among the liberal establishment is just how God respecting this cabinet is. The photo shows the nation's leaders sitting down and praying in unison, something that this nation hasn't seen much of in the last eight years. It's a recognition of humility and humbleness. It doesn't matter how wealthy and powerful we are in this world, it can all be thrown asunder at a moment's notice. It's a good sign to see that Trump isn't letting his position get to his head. Moreover, it seems that these prayers have been answered in some respects. Hurricane Irma was originally forecast to rake all along the western side of Florida but has instead moved inland more quickly than expected, sparing cities like Miami and Fort Lauderdale from the full wrath of the hurricane. Even better, Irma has now been downgraded from a hurricane to a tropical storm, so it seems that the worst is now behind us. Still, with almost half of Floridians having no access to power, and almost 7 million people having been warned to evacuate, there is still much repair work to be done. However, no one can dispute that Hurricane Irma had the potential to be far more dangerous than it ended up, something that everyone should appreciate. Whether this was merely luck or other divine intervention is up to you to decide. This situation does, however, bring to mind a particular verse, 2 Chronicles 7:14. if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. It should be reminded that experts are calling this administration the most evangelical cabinet in history, with Trump's cabinet having a stronger Christian presence than any presidency in the last 100 years. With regular Bible studies, prayer meetings, and meetings with evangelical leadership, perhaps it truly is no coincidence that this nation was spared from a larger Irma disaster with a cabinet as God-fearing as ours. All our thoughts and prayers are on those in Florida right now. And just like during Harvey, Americans will undoubtedly pull together in this time of crisis.